Brian Barnhill reporting for the Michigan Chronicle. Access to technology is the modern day differentiator between the haves and the have nots in America. At Schultz Elementary Middle School, its 800 students are certainly among the most privileged learners in Detroit. Surrounded by technology in every classroom, Schultz students are taught from an individualized curriculum that teaches them to be problem solvers, a model that's as good for its students as it is Detroit. You would bring your child to the school because we are a child-centered school. Um, we put children first. If it's not going to uh, work for the child, then we don't have it. Scientific learning is a brain-based program. Mm -hmm. um, right now it's web-based, which is great, mm -hmm. because what it does is it, have, it causes the right brain and the left brain to talk to one another, to communicate. Okay. And that is where we reach our very toughest students. Okay. The students who are in the fourth grade or fifth grade and we've tried everything and they're still not, they're not getting, um, getting the information. So what we do is we put them in front of a computer and they go in for 30 minutes a day mm -hmm. and they, and there are sounds, they put the headphones on, there are sounds, um, there are different things they have to move or to complete. I think that the technology is so, so, so very important for them because as you know, a lot of students, they really gravitate towards the technology with at home, whether it's video games or just watching the TV or they like their Nintendo DS's. So I really think that the technology really gets them very engaged and inter interactive with it. And as well, there's so many resources with technology that can really stimulate their mind and there are different activities than just using just reading the text. Mm -hmm. A textbook is great too, but the on the smart board and the internet there's so many other great resources. Um, what makes this school special to me is the technology that we have and all the great teachers here. How it feels like when you walk in, like there's all this African art everywhere and the environment, the teachers are really friendly, the way they greet you in the morning and it's just an overall good, happy feel. They come here to make you feel happy. I, I have a team, an instructional leadership team, mm -hmm. and we work together, and we try to make decisions in the best interest of the child. And if it's not in the best interest of the child, then we don't have it. And I tell my staff, whatever it is that you need for that child to be successful, you will have it.